Hey everyone, Johnny here. A while back, I was asked by a viewer how to accomplish a building facade like the one on the Chinese Cultural Center in Belgrade. I have to say, it's a pretty cool design. So I thought about a few ways to approach this. With the current version of geometry nodes at the time, I was getting some issues and it was making it difficult. However, with some new updates to geometry nodes, the idea I had became more plausible. So I wanted to share how I came up with this image. To start with, I created the outer shell of the building. In this case, I just simply used a cube and resized it to the size that I wanted, making sure to apply scale. Next, I gave it a solidify modifier. This gives the outside of the cube some thickness. If you wanted a little better idea of what it was doing, you could go ahead and delete the bottom face. Next, I needed to create a grid that would place the windows where they were going to go on the final building. To do this, I just created a simple mesh grid. I set the X subdivisions to 20, and I'll leave the Y subdivisions at 10. I rotated this, and moved it into position along with the front of the building. And finally, I added a cube that would be used to cut out our windows. And I scaled it down to about the size of one window. Now let's move on to adding our geometry node tree. Using the building shell as our main object, I'm going to add a new tree. I'll add an input object info node and reference the grid object. Also, make sure to set your object info to relative position. Next, we'll add a geometry join geometry node and connect our original geometry and our grid. Now we want to create our cutter box on every grid vertex. This is really easy to do. We simply add a point instance node and point it to our cutter. Then we'll go ahead and resize the cutter in edit mode to get the windows down to the right size. Now to resize the windows using a texture. To do this, we'll use an attribute sample texture node. Create a new texture and then press the parameters button to bring up that texture option over here. I'm going to change mine to a Musgrave texture. Set the mapping to UV map and we'll put the results into an attribute called windows. Now, in order to use this texture data to resize our points, we'll need to add an attribute combine XYZ node. We'll use this to adjust the scale. First, set the output of this attribute combine XYZ to scale. Immediately, your cutters are going to go away because the default scale is zero. Let's go ahead and set these all to one. Now, if we go through and adjust each component, we'll see which axis this is moving our cutters on. The X component is running left to right, the Y component front to back, and the Z component up and down. We want to set our Y distance so it's deep enough so that it goes all the way through the front of our shell. We're going to leave this a float. The other two we want to set to an attribute, and that attribute is going to be windows. If we look back at the front of our object, we'll see that our windows now have scales that go along with our texture. We can of course adjust our texture or choose a different texture type if we prefer. If you want additional control over the sizes, you can add an attribute color ramp node. Mapping windows to windows. I'll use this to set the lowest value where the texture is zero will now be this gray color, not zero. So my windows will be no smaller than this value. At this point, you should have boxes with varying sizes sticking out of your building. Of course, we want to change this to a Boolean difference rather than a join. So we'll go ahead and delete the join geometry node and add a mesh Boolean node. Put our shell object in geometry one and our cutters in geometry two. Make sure to enable hole tolerant and then connect our geometry to the output. At this point, our shell should have the cutouts, except we do still see the grid in behind here. So I'll remove the grid from my view. To finish the effect, I'll add another cube inside of this one and set it to a reflective texture. And there you have it. So this is the basics of how I would approach this problem of cutting these multi-sized windows into the front of this. One additional thing you could do 
is use weight paints to paint a custom pattern into the front of this. To do that, I'm going to disconnect my boolean and remove my sample texture. Now going to my grid object, I'll go to weight paint mode. Now back in my node tree, instead of using windows as my attribute, I can use group. And now I have a happy building. Anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas about ways to use geometry nodes and the boolean node. And I hope this inspires you to make something awesome. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit like, and if you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.